Hello, my lovies. Welcome back. So, as you guys can see by the title, this is a collective, okay? We're going to see what's going on with you, with them, with the relationship, all right? So, um, you guys know, with these readings, they may or may not resonate, all right? Uh, take what's for you, leave the rest, okay? If it does resonate, comment below. If it doesn't apply, you already know. Let it fly. All right, my love. So, I do want to say I hope and pray that you and your loved ones are safe, well, and healthy. And I want to thank you guys, as always, for uh, supporting the channel. We're going to pull... Um, a believe in your own magic oracle first these these ones oh wow bottom of the deck it says it's time for healing not war mm. that could definitely be how um, some of you are feeling some of them are feeling okay but we're gonna see um, you know what the situation is um, so as always you guys know I want you to Set your focus and your intentions on receiving truth and clarity, as well as on receiving the answers to uh, any questions that you guys are holding near and dear to your hearts, all right? So, like I said, I'm going to pull one of these. Um, I'm going to read the little snippet from the book, all right? Then I'll hop into the reading with the tarot. And um, as always, I'll pull an oracle at the end to see how that's going to tie into the reading for you guys as well all right i want to say uh happy birthday pisces yep we are uh rounding uh the river bend just around the river bend excuse me somebody could be uh that could be like the phrase that pays for someone or <laughs> Somebody may like to sing that song. Just around the river bend. <laughs> Something may be coming up around the corner, okay? We all know airy season is on deck. Airy season is coming around the corner. So some of you um, could be, it could be, I could be talking to a Pisces um, and or an Aries, you know, that are dealing with each other. This reading could be for, you know, you guys. Um, I'm going to also pull some signs and see, okay, um, but yeah, let's get it, let's get it, we have mural, it says be your own first priority, I love it, I love it, okay, bottom of the deck we have library, Take control of your own narrative. Yeah. Don't be letting these uh, motherfuckers pull at your heartstrings or, you know, string you along or, you know, make you feel like a puppet, period. Okay? That could be how some of you are feeling. And the universe is telling you, be your own first priority. Take control of your own narrative, you know? Don't let them do it. Don't let them do it. Okay? So, card number 25 breaks down to a seven. Um, the sevens are challenges, responsibilities, personal development, okay? Which makes so much sense, you know, saying be your own um, first priority. That personal development, you know? Um, so, let's see. Let's see what the book says. Some of you could be artists, um, you know, painters, or you could be artists like uh, in the industry, you know. Um, somebody could just be artsy. I also feel like this could apply to those that may not have faith in their artistry, you know. Um, I feel like the universe is saying step out on faith, you know. Put yourself out there. Put your work out there. Okay? You never know. We're in the, the you know, uh, era where anything can go viral. And not saying that that's what you're looking for or that's what you want. 
But if that's how you're going to get recognized to, you know, step on your path into your purpose and, you know, grow exceedingly and abundantly more than you could have ever thought. Okay. Take that leap. Hello. That's a message. Okay. It says, whatever you're currently grappling with, you must put yourself first. When you're on an airplane, they always tell you to put on your own oxygen mask before you try to help your neighbor with theirs. That is to say, if you don't make sure your own energy bar is full, then you'll have no energy to give someone else. Okay? Be brave enough to admit when you need to take a step back from the demands of others and work on making sure you're okay. Okay? Be your own first priority. Okay? Self-preservation. That's what it's about, you know. If you're no good for yourself, how can you be good for anyone else, you know? Whether it's in energetically, whether it's spiritually, mentally, physically, financially, um, in love, you know, or just lovingly, you know what I mean? Putting yourself first, loving yourself first, giving yourself the love that you want to receive. Being your own first priority, you know. Really tapping into that for yourself. I'm telling you, it would make a world of a difference, okay? Make a world of a difference. And that's what I was saying. Uh, this is why, uh, <laughs> if I can speak, right? This is why, you know, this is showing up at the bottom. You see? The, this the, this is, the, see the hand? People may be wanting to pull at your heartstrings or just pull at you, trigger you, get under your skin or, you know the demand of them, you know, them wanting you to do what they want you to do. It's not about them. It's about you. Okay? It's about you and you making your um self, you being your own first priority. Okay? So, don't let them uh you know, feel like they can pull and do whatever the hell they want to do. Okay? Cuz it ain't going to be that. Period. Mm -mm. So let's see. This is um, card number 22. Somebody could be a master number 22. Okay. 22 breaks down to um, a four. Okay. The fours are all about stability, order, and basically like the benefits of a solid foundation. Okay. So... 22 okay wow and and look what's after that hold on look after that card at the bottom card number 27 breaks down to a nine okay um the nines are about like the effects how the effects of uh past dealings past situations, events manifest in the present moment, okay? Um, yeah, somebody could have uh, tried to create a narrative, okay? And this card is a, um, is witch, and it says justice is coming, okay? Somebody, I could be talking to a Libra. Somebody could be dealing with the Libra, all right? But the universe is saying justice is coming. Yep, look. Okay. Wow. All right, so library, take control of your own narrative. It says someone else is trying to call the shots in your life. There it is. They think they can waltz in and control your every move, and you need to say no to their manipulation. Okay? That's what I said. Somebody is like literally trying to call the shots, trying to pull the strings, you know, manipulate you into doing whatever it is that they want. It says, it might seem tempting to relinquish control, but if you give someone else power over your narrative, chaos will ensue, and it will be it will all be in their favor, not yours. The stories inside of you make you a library on the verge of bursting, but only if you're the one to pick up the pen. Yup. Pick up the pen, cop a squat, and take note. <laughs> yes. Okay? Pick up the pen. Okay? Tell them to uh, cop a squat and take note, okay? And justice is coming for whoever these individuals are that may be out here trying to create narratives, okay? Trying to call shots in your life, pull, um, you know, 
uh, pull at your heartstrings, try to manipulate you into making you feel guilty so that you can do what they want you to do, trying to have control over your every move. And the universe is telling you to say no. Say no. Don't let these motherfuckers have uh, uh, power over you because all they're going to do is try to cause chaos and confusion. You know? Mm -mm. Don't let them be the ones to create the narrative. You create your own narrative. It's your life. You know, and I feel like somebody needs to hear that. And that's why this is coming out, because somebody's needing to make themselves their own first priority by investing in them. And those of you that you have uh, these individuals trying to control you, manipulate you, and they've been doing this for ever, pretty much, and creating narratives, you know, as if you can't uh, do something alone on your own or take care of yourself or or you, that you're not independent, or what have you. Whatever narrative it is they're trying to create, the universe is saying, justice is coming, okay? Justice is coming. This could have been, uh, this could have taken place in the past, you know? But um, let's see. Let's see what the going on is, okay? And like I said, I'm going to pull um, the oracle for the um the signs okay so we'll see you know what signs um you know i could be talking to and what signs that um you know you guys could be dealing with wow look at that bottom of the deck we got the empress okay so i could definitely be talking to a taurus and or a libra you know that may need to hear those messages and you know maybe needing to put your foot down you know it could be um a mother a baby's mother okay a wife so just be mindful all right um so we're gonna see what the uh situation is you know what's going on you them the relationship Okay, and this could be for someone that you're dealing with um, intimately, someone that's coming in, coming towards you, okay, intimately, or this could be, you know, regarding family members, friends, co-workers, you know, people that you know, that you care about, that you love, or that love you, you know, um, so we're going to see. And, um, you know, put yourself where you are, you know, in the story. You could be them, you know, you could be you. <laughs> but put yourself where you go in the situation in the story, you know, if it does resonate and it is for you, you'll definitely know. Wow. So as I'm shuffling two times the uh, four of wands, it didn't fall, but it popped up. And it, and it went back in the deck. The Four of Wands twice. So this, I could definitely be talking to, um, you know, individuals that are married. You know, some of you could be dealing with someone that's married, unbeknownst to you. You know, um, but I feel like because the Four of Wands wanted to pop out. And then we had the uh, card number 22. Um, you know, which broke down to a four, it could definitely be 44 or something could, somebody could be 44. Um, but it could definitely be about, um, the stability, um, of a connection of a relationship, you know, or, you know. You could be questioning if it's going to be a solid foundation or if something's going to lead to marriage or, you know. So, we're going to see. Okay. Knight of Pentacles wanted to pop out. And I'm going to see the, what those cards are that fell out as well. But, um, let's get it. Alright, so this is you. This is them, the relationship, overall energy and theme. Yeah, it's about balance. 
it's about equal give and take six of pentacles okay so the cards that flipped out let's see so we have um the emperor the eight of swords and the six of swords okay remember we had the empress at the bottom of the deck so for some of you this is definitely regarding a marriage this could be um you know your relationship about your relationship with your parents grandparents you know or that mother and father figure in your life you know it could be a, a an older sibling that you know took on the responsibility of or having a hand in you know raising you or that could be you guys you know so take it as it resonates there could be an age difference you know between you and these individuals um and like i was saying about the empress the emperor could be the father the baby's father the husband could be a boss you know this could be a situation going on with work you know you guys could be in a leadership role and, and or position but i feel like what the universe is saying um we have aries energy okay aries on deck for a uh, birthday coming up in a few days um something significant could be happening in aries season some of you could be literally moving on from being stuck okay moving on from that mental uh imprisonment feeling trapped okay there could be a judge that's making a ruling you know and someone could be coming home from jail okay um hopefully nobody's getting locked up okay but i feel like um with the emperor card showing up and coming out um the universe is wanting you guys to step back into your power take back control of your life and that was that energy about um take control of your own narrative okay because with this emperor card somebody could be very controlling very demanding or wanting control you know and this could be making you guys feel stuck and stagnant this could be making you guys feel uh trapped you know and i feel like some of you you're gonna get that willpower uh, you know, muster up that courage, your inner strength to move on, you know, from this situation, especially if somebody was literally trying to, you know, control your every move, you know, this is not a shot at Aries, but the Aries energy is control, you know, so I feel like the universe is saying, you know, you guys are needing to organize, you know, any chaos, create structure. You know, this could definitely be about a solid foundation. I remember I was saying that before because that four of wands wanted to pop out, you know, and um, this uh, library card 22 breaks down to a four as well, you know. So I feel like this is definitely having to do with the stability of a connection, of a relationship, a solid foundation, you know, the benefits of that, you know, um, order. You know, the Emperor card is about order as well, you know, controlling the things that we have control over, which are our emotions, you know, and I feel like the universe is wanting you guys to get that under control or somebody needs to get that under control. Okay. So, so far we have Aries, uh, bottom of the deck. Yeah. See, we got the seven of pentacles. Look at that. We got the Six of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. So I feel like there's a lot of frustration, you know, because I feel like the investment that you guys are making into a situation, a connection, a job, a friendship, um, a family situation, dynamic, your marriage, your home, you know, your home life. I feel like there's no equal give and take in reciprocity, you know, and I feel like it's it's creating an imbalance, you know. And you guys have been very generous in this situation, which is causing the frustration because some of you, look at this guy watching the, the money, like watching the money just fall to the wayside, you know? Somebody could be very wasteful, you know? But I feel like there's a need to assess the situation, you know? And I feel like once you guys assess the situation, some of you may decide, you know, to go in a new direction. But I feel like you guys are going to be rewarded, you know? You're going to be rewarded because you persevered, you know? And I feel like that investment that you guys are needing to make 
is into you, you know, getting that balance back. You may have people, look at these people, you know, you may have people that always have their hand out, always need, 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 or want, 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 you know, looking for you because you're a kind-hearted, generous, uh, caring, grounded, stable, down-to-earth individual, you know, who may have some coin in the bank, you, you know what I'm saying? But they always looking for a handout or a hand up or, you know, just always needing something. You know, they may look for you to continuously invest in them while you become unbalanced and they get balanced. You know, that's where it becomes that, um, you know, where there's no equal give and take and reciprocity, you know. So somebody is definitely trying to control the situation. Somebody may be trying to control your money or control the, the, the moves that you make. You know what I mean? So I feel like for some of you, this could be causing a lot of frustration. Okay? So let's see you. Tower. Yeah. Something is coming crumbling down, you know? And it's because... Um, of the realization, the revelation, the aha moment, that wake up call, you know, something is coming crumbling down because here we go again, something wasn't built on solid ground, you know, it's something about uh, uh, solid, uh, it's something about stability, um, solid foundation, okay, order, structure, some of you may need to be mindful, um, I'm hoping this is not the case, but there could be some sort of, um, I, not a natural disaster, but a natural disaster. Okay, so be mindful because I fit, I, <laughs> oh my God, I'm not laughing, but the crazy thing is I heard wetlands earlier, right? I heard wetlands, but I was like, how does that apply or, you know, resonate or relate to this energy. You know what I'm saying? Um, but it makes sense because if there was a structure, could be a business, okay, that um, is on or over wetlands, it may come crumbling down, okay? That's a sidebar message, sidebar note. You guys would know. I mean, the wetlands, I, you know, you're not going to really find them, you know, that like out here in New York, you know what I mean? That would be more like Florida, you know, like down south. So somebody could live in Florida, be from Florida. Be mindful, okay? Be mindful, especially if you guys are buying, uh, you're opening up a business or you're, you're buying land, you know, property, definitely get that uh, checked, inspected, or what have you, because, um, you know, somebody needs to hear this. Okay, get that checked out, because something may be, um, you may feel like it's a steal, or, you know, the, the, the price is too good to be true. If something is too good to be true, it's probably be because it is, you know. You may buy this and get this for a steal, but guess what? It's not, whatever you build on there is going to come crumbling down. This is what I'm saying. You got to make sure that the grounds, the environment, you know, the land, the property, it's safe because you may not be able to build on it. And then you may not end up being able to sell it because now you're stuck with this property or this land or this business that you 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 can't sell it because of the 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 grounds the grounds are not stable they're not safe and look at this oh my goodness i'm just i'm getting these visions now okay like i literally hope that somebody like you know people are not in this building i'm hoping this is not coming crumbling look at this you see the water around this person and look at the water over here it's like you're going to have to swim out of this freaking building kind of like um what was that freaking movie? It was a little bit different, but I'm just using that as an example. Um, San Andreas with The Rock, okay, Dwayne Johnson. I think that I think that was San Andreas, but um, you know, look at how the waters. You know, I'm just saying. Uh, hopefully, I, prayerfully, 
I, I, I don't know why this, you know, it, I'm, it's meant for somebody to hear. It's meant for somebody to hear so somebody can take action, you know, and get control of this situation, you know, um, before you invest, okay? Because remember, we had the seven of pentacles. That's about investment, you know, and that could be where somebody's frustration is coming from as well. You know, this structure may have come crumbling down and somebody's all of somebody's money was into it or they invested into this and, you know, it became, you know, <laughs> the wetland became a wasteland, okay? So just be mindful of that. Somebody needed to hear that because I just literally went off on a whole tangent, okay? On some shit I have no clue about, <laughs> okay? So that was definitely for somebody, but nonetheless, and like I said, this is you, but it could be them, okay? Nonetheless, I feel like there's that wake-up call, that aha moment, all right? Some of you could have just broken off a relationship, the connection, you know. Um, some of you could be feeling devastated, you know. Some of you could have found out that somebody was just trying to uh, control your money, control your generosity. They may have only wanted you to give to them, you know, being selfish, you know, to keep you you know, tied down and stuck to keep you uh, needing them so that they can be in control. You know, be mindful of that because <laughs> motherfuckers be doing that shit, you know, making you need them and then want to shit on you. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, some of you could have found out, you know, this is the situation or was the situation, you know, um, with this tower card. So we have Scorpio and Aries energy. So something significant could be happening in Aries season. And this could be what, um, you know, you guys may have had an inkling in Scorpio season. But it now it may now be taken to Aries season before you actually are able to move on. You know, some of you may have had to get your finances in order in order to move on from this, you know, this mess, this disaster. Something's a mess or somebody's a mess you know, um, Mars energy. So them, we have temperance, okay? Sagittarian energy. I could be talking to a Sag, this could be regarding a Sag, okay? Um, yeah. So they may be, um, oh, excuse me. They may be, um, they may be needing to make some adjustments, Okay, but see, here's the thing. While they're over here trying to be all controlling and, you know, either control your finances or the moves that you make or your generosity, it's like I said, it's causing an imbalance, okay, making you guys frustrated. And this is why you guys are in the tower moment. And look, they're over here like the freaking uh, uh, temperance balanced. You know, getting their balance back, their cup is full, running over, you know, and they're able to keep pouring, it, it, look, pouring into their own cup, pouring into their own cup, and see, uh, y'all better listen, okay, everybody got time, this is why you are needing to be your own priority, be your own first priority, okay, and investing into you. They're pulling your freaking strings, okay? They're pulling your freaking strings. You're becoming unbalanced, okay? Feeling stuck, stagnant, and trapped, okay? Frustrated. And may have watched your money go to down the drain or be wasted, you know? And they're over here pouring into themselves. They're, they're, they're taking that advice. They're being their own first priority. And they're getting balanced, Okay, they're getting balanced while you over here feeling like the world is, is, is coming uh, down on you. You know, everything is crumbling. You know what I mean? Shit is falling the fuck apart and they over here getting balanced. You know what I mean? Oh my goodness. All right, let's see the relationship. Yeah, this motherfucker stressful. Okay, this shit is stressful as hell. You know what I'm saying? Wounded warrior energy, you know, some of you are needing to create boundaries, 
You're needing to put your foot down and create boundaries. You're needing to step back into your power, take back control of your life. Okay? Be your own first priority. Okay? Because like I said, they're over here getting balanced and you guys are over here feeling stuck, stagnant, frustrated. Okay? Because while you're investing in the relationship and investing in them, guess who's being depleted? You. You. Not them. They over here getting their, their balance back. You know, the universe is saying you're resilient. Muster up that confidence, that courage, that willpower, that strength, that determination. Okay? Drop the motherfucking wands. Okay? Because you're holding that ace of wands. You're holding that ace of wands. And those other eight wands are the messages that the universe is trying to uh, deliver to you about moving forward. Okay, about being your own first priority. Let's see. Okay, so we have Aries twice, Scorpio, and Sagittarius. Okay, water and fire. Yep. Yeah. Okay, they are literally pouring water or putting your whole damn fire out. Okay. Mm -mm. Clarifying the six of pentacles. We have the three of cups. Mm -hmm. We have the queen of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Justice. Remember, I said somebody could be dealing with a Libra earlier. There it is. Okay. And the Ace of Pentacles. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. And what did I was what was I saying? After the um take control of your own narrative, we have uh witch. Okay, justice is coming. And what shows up? The justice card. Okay, hello, Libra energy. For some of you, um, this could be, um, you know, this could involve friends. Okay, uh, this could be siblings. Remember, I was saying earlier too, I made the mention about a, you know, um, it could be an older sibling that like had a hand in raising you. This could be siblings. Okay, um, even if there is an age difference, this could be friends, okay? This could be, you know, friends trying to control a narrative or, you know, because this is clarifying this uh, six of uh, pentacles. This could be friends, you know? Look at this. You got three people here, all right? And then you got three people on this card, you know? And this could be the only reason why they're able to celebrate or go out or have a good time or clean up well is because, look, you giving. Giving, giving, giving until what? You're depleted, okay? So some of you, um, the universe is saying you put your foot down. I'm telling you, you put your foot down and you start nurturing yourselves, getting grounded. You know what I mean? Really putting that time, that energy, that effort into you. Look, you make that choice and that decision of taking back control of your life. Look what happens. Okay, this is that justice that's coming. Okay, and the justice that you guys are receiving is new doors opening, new opportunities coming in and presenting themselves. Okay, period. Because you guys are manifesting this. Okay, some of you, you got motherfuckers depleting you. Oh, excuse me, y'all. Um, depleting you so much financially. You know? Some of you could have been the queen of pentacles and because these motherfuckers depleted you, now you're down to the six of pentacles, you know, and the universe is saying, no, that's not how it was supposed to be. That's why there's that frustration because there's no equal give and take. It doesn't matter if it's family members, friends, coworkers, um, you know, your spouse, Whoever this is, whoever these individuals are, there's no equal give and take. You guys are giving, 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 and they're just taking, taking, taking. 
you know, and that's what the Six of Pentacles show. And this is why they're able to go out and party and bullshit and party and bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And clean up nice, you know? It's because you took the time and you nurtured what you had, you know? You built what you had up. Some of you built up a savings and now it's depleted. You know, you're down to like damn near nothing, you know? And that's why you guys have to be your own first priority. Because you have givers, you have takers. You know what I mean? And as long as you keep giving, motherfuckers is going to keep taking. And keep taking. And keep taking. Okay? Mm-mm. That's not, that's not how it's supposed to go. And that's not how it's supposed to be. Period. Once you guys, you know, put your foot down and start making that investment in you... The justice comes, the doors open, the opportunities come in. Once you guys set those boundaries, okay? Some of you are going to realize that with this Nine of Wands energy that some of these motherfuckers are hidden enemies, okay? they they hidden enemies. They're only around for what you can do for them, what you can provide for them, what you can give to them, what they can take, okay? But justice is coming. Justice is coming. Some of you, there could be a court situation, you know, and you guys, um, whatever this court situation is, you guys are going to win, okay? There's definitely going to be, um, for some of you, it's going to be a monetary win. Some of you, this could be, um, you know, regarding your stability. It could be a home, you know? Some of you may, um, that may be uh, the asset that you're able to obtain, um you know, through the, the, the decision of the court. The, the judge may decide in your favor and you get to keep the home, you know, for some of you. Some of you, that's the case. But some of you, there's definitely a win. There's definitely a win. You're going to be celebrating. You know what I mean? There's justice coming in. There's definitely a win. And you guys are going to be very happy. You're going to be very happy. For others of you, like I said, there's truth and clarity that's coming. And that's what I was saying. The messages that the universe is trying to um, convey to you. It's about you um, receiving those messages, the truth and clarity. And that could literally be that shock, that aha moment. Like, why didn't I think of that before? Why didn't I do that? Like that, <gasps> I got it. You know what I'm saying? So for some of you, that's this going to be the situation. And once you get that truth and clarity, which is the justice card, all right? Once you get that truth and clarity, um, justice is going to be served, okay? And like I said, part of your justice is what you're manifesting, whatever this is, a new job, a new financial opportunity, a business. Um, for some of you, you may be buying land, property, okay? And it's so funny. This kind of looks like the wetlands, right? Right there. Um, yeah. But for some of you, you're definitely going to... This is going to be a victory. Some of you may be going to court for, um, uh, you know, a divorce. Or, you know, you, you, you know, you may have to return to court for the, the, the final judgment of the splitting of the assets. And I feel like for some of you, you may get the home. Some of you, you may get the money, okay? Um, for others of you, this could be uh, uh, child support. And you're going to, um, you're gonna get awarded for some of you, it's going to be more than you, you had um, anticipated. Let me see, bottom of the deck. Look at... Shut up. Okay? Shut up. Okay? Look what happens when you create boundaries. Okay? You literally go from the drab nine of one energy. Look at you. Out here looking amazing. Looking good, feeling good, smelling good. Okay? No more bandages around the head. No more limping, okay? And I don't even know if a motherfucker limping, but this is that energy, okay? Make you feel like he limping, all right? But look, okay? You guys are going to be good. 
You guys are going to be good. This is wish fulfillment. This is comfort. Okay? This is happiness. This is satisfaction. You guys are going to be satisfied. I'm telling you. Once you guys start investing in yourselves, once you guys start creating those boundaries, I'm telling you, there's a level of satisfaction. Some of you, there may be something that you're needing to do alone or on your own, and this is going to level you up, okay? This is going to level you up. This is pre-empress energy, all right? But let's see. Let's see this tower. Wow. I'm telling you, and this, okay, showing y'all again, this is what happens when you end up being your own first priority, okay? This is what happens when you take control of your own narrative and not have them pulling at your strings, okay? Hello. Clarifying the tower. Look at... Shut up, Okay? Shut up with that Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, okay? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And what did I say? What did I say? Somebody's going to be shocked as hell, okay? You stand your ground and speak your truth, all right? That's what this is about. You standing your ground and speaking your truth, period. What does that lead to? That Ten of Pentacles, the stability, Okay? A lot of pen, it's pentacle energy up in here. I'm telling you, this has to do with money or, you know, um, this ha could have to do with uh, lineage, you know, ancestors. This could be uh, your family's uh, lineage, you know. Um, this could be about a marriage. You know, this could be about an inheritance, money from insurance or a will, you know. Some of you, you may be shocked to find out the truth about this money that is owed or due to you, Okay. And I'm telling you, you get that truth and clarity, This for some of you, this is going to be your level up. For others of you, like I said, because this could be the home, okay? This could be the home. You may be downright shocked that the judge awarded you the home. Some of you are downright shocked that the judge awarded you the money, okay? But that's what this is, Okay? And for others of you, this is the money that you're going to be receiving for um, child support. It's going to be a lot of money. It's going to be a lot of money, okay? Because whoever this person is, they could definitely um, hold a high position or they could be a business owner, you know, that does very well but still wants to, you know, control what you have, you know, control what you bring to the table. Um, yeah, some of you are going to make off in this divorce and, you know, whether it's it's the home or it's the 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 child support or you know the the monetary award you're gonna make off um but for um the most part some of you may um be shocked to find out the truth about like i said this money that's owed or due to you or the fact that somebody is married okay got a whole spouse and and, and children you know what I mean? If they done uh, tucked away, like, what what are we doing here? You know? Let's see. Bottom of the deck. Look at that. See? Two of Cups. Yeah. This is, these are individuals that you had a lot of love for, that you really care about, you know, or that you're in love with, okay? With this um, Two of Cups energy. For others of you, you have somebody coming in. You have somebody new coming in that's going to provide that equal give and take. You're going to have a reason to celebrate. And you're going to be shocked to find out that this person is being very honest with you when they tell you that they want to marry you. They want to grow old with you. Okay? That that they want, you know, the whole kit and caboodle with you. All right? Some of you are going to be very shocked to find that out. But this person really loves you and is really in love with you. Okay? Some of you could be a Leo. Okay? Okay? the lion up there. Some of you could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, or uh, Scorpio, Sag, Libra, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Mm-hmm. But absolutely, yeah. The universe is saying, make sure that you guys are being honest with yourselves. You know, first and foremost, being honest with yourselves. And some of you, 
somebody may be shocked that you're going to yield this sword and cut their ass out. You know, some of you, you're not just going to create the boundary. You go, you're going to cement that motherfucker. You know what I mean? And that's how, for some of you, you're going to get the balance and the moderation back. So, let's see. Um, temperance. Oh, my nose is going off. Six of Wands, yeah. Some of you, this person is wanting victory. They may be wanting victory over you, victory with you. Um, some of you, this, you know, the situation is different, you know. Yeah. But the universe is saying for some of you, um, you know, oh, how you gain the victory is by having patience with yourself, okay, but also making some adjustments. For some of you, this person is going to make the adjustments necessary and it's going to be a victory, okay? Because I feel like this is recognition, okay? I feel like people, as well as you, are going to recognize this person's, um, the changes that this person has made, the adjustments that this person has made, you know, um, in order to win you back because for some of you this person wants victory with you you know but they're hoping that you are um going to be patient with them while they undergo this uh these adjustments you know yeah two of wands because they could definitely be at this crossroads you know trying to figure out what path to go down you know what adjustments to make but some of you this person you know there's two major things that this person is needing to do in order to um you know for you guys to move forward or in order for um this reconciliation to happen because for some of you this person is wanting victory with you they're wanting a reconciliation they're at the crossroads you know for others of you the universe is saying you know plan on being recognized plan on being recognized for some of you there may be a business you know that you guys are um <laughs> the the agent i see okay but um you're gonna get a lot of recognition you know you may just need to tweak some plans some ideas what have you but you guys are gonna get a lot of recognition for that Okay, some of you definitely going to be in the public eye, but I see there's a victory ahead, you know, um, progress, but you guys are definitely needing to get that confidence and that courage together. Okay, the six of wands sits high, you know what I mean? They sit high and yeah, look at that. The six of wands and the two of wands is the eight of wands. And that's what I was saying before with this card, but once those adjustments are made, it's going to be swift forward movement okay swift forward movement but communication is necessary communication is necessary what's at the bottom look at that queen of cups cancer pisces scorpionic energy yes a lot of love here okay i for some of you i feel like this person not only loves you but they're in love with you okay this person is definitely in touch with their feminine side whether it's a feminine or masculine, you know, whether it's a female or male, excuse me, they're in touch with their uh, feminine uh, energy, you know. Um, I also feel like, like I said, you guys had and have a lot of love for this individual. For some of you, this is somebody new coming in. Like I said, they want the whole kit and caboodle with you, okay? And you're going to be shocked, but this person is being honest. You may be very shocked. You know, when this person tells you that not only do they love you, but that they're in love with you, you know, and they want to move things forward. They want to settle down. You know, this person could be coming out of, you know, um, a marriage or, you know, have gone through a divorce or what have you. But um, some of you are going to be very shocked, you know, when this person expresses, you know, that they want the victory with you, that they have, you know, plans for you guys for the future and they want things to move forward, but they're hoping that you're patient with them, you know, while they make these changes, these adjustments, or while they, um, you know, continue to, um, you know, get the balance back in their own lives, you know. 
But yeah, a lot of love here, a lot of love here. I feel like this person um, is very intuitive, like you guys, you know? And I feel like this person helps you guys um, feel emotionally secure, okay? But nonetheless, some of you, you're needing to create boundaries, okay? You're needing to um, get the confidence and the courage to stand your ground and speak your truth okay and not let these individuals feel like they can obligate you not let these individuals throw the weight of the world on your shoulders and your back okay mm -mm. and like i said they walking around free and clear getting the balance back and you guys over here stressed and burdened for what no let them carry their own weight you know you carrying your weight and their weight that BMI it will be a motherfucker. You kidding me? Let's see that uh, nine of uh, nine of wands. Page of Pentacles. Mm hmm. Oh yeah. Yep. Wow. The universe is telling you know your worth and your value. Know your worth and your value, okay? You investing into you, okay? Yeah, because I feel like some of you were already established. Some of you were already established. And this person comes along, you know, trying to disrupt the game. You know what I mean? Mm-mm, we ain't doing that. We are not doing that. Period. Know your worth and your value. For some of you, you're going to have this person very intimidated. You stand your ground. You create those boundaries. I'm telling you, you put your foot down, stand your ground and speak your truth. You're going to have this person very intimidated. Okay? Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy with that page of pentacles. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because now they're going to want to come in with, with a... Um, uh, a, a solid, stable, grounded offer. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Seven of Wands. Yeah. They may have tried to block your forward movement, your progress. Or stop or block you from seeing your own worth and your value. But this is also, you guys, you know, dealing with the challenges of your responsibility and responsibilities and feeling overwhelmed. But this is also... You know, you guys backing the motherfucker down. Backing a motherfucker down. Okay? They got you in this energy. This is you creating those boundaries. Okay? Creating those boundaries. And, and um, you know, it's because you know your worth and your value. Mm-hmm. Period. Period. For some of you, you got, you know, uh, you know, you got these people that want to compete, you know. They want to compete because they see you persevering. They see you persevering. And they feel uh, uh, threatened. They feel challenged. They feel triggered. Yeah. What's at the bottom? Look at that, see? Judgment call. Judgment call. For some of you, these motherfuckers is under judgment. Yep. They under judgment. Or they're going to be under judgment. Period. They're under judgment or they're going to be... I'm telling you. The universe is blowing that trumpet. The universe is, is blowing that trump, trumpet. I can't even get it together. See, confirmation. The universe is blowing that trump trumpet. And some of you are needing to make that judgment call. Period. You're needing to make that judgment call. No matter who this is in your life. A lot of pentacles out here. I'm telling you. A lot of pentacles out here. I'm telling you guys now. Yeah. 
Yeah, scorpionic energy. But this 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 judgment call for some of you needs to be made. Okay, this judgment call needs to be made. And for others of you, whoever this is, that's why that justice, okay? That's the justice. Justice is coming? Yes. Okay? Justice is coming. And guess what? Now y'all get the fucking overcharged motherfuckers for what they did to the cold crush. Fuck out of here. I we'll see who this is. Saturn, okay? Some of you could be um, Capricorn. Um, yeah, Saturn energy. Because they tried to restrict you. Okay? Seven of Wands energy. They tried to create limitations and tried to restrict you. Okay? By the control. Hello. Some of you definitely could be a Capricorn. We got air. Okay? Like the over here, Queen of... Swords, that's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, okay? And then we got Neptune, Piscean energy, all right? Bottom of the deck, we got the Sun card, Leo energy, okay? Fire definitely showed up. Um, but yeah, I could be talking to any of these signs. You guys could be dealing with any of these signs. Um, you know, this could be regarding any of those signs, all right? Um, but yeah. I feel like ultimately, once you guys make that judgment call, that's why the sun card is showing up. That's why the sun card is showing up, because you guys are going to be happy. You guys are going to be happy once you make that uh, judgment call. Look, what's after um, the sun card at the bottom, Gemini. So some of you could be Gemini, all right? All right, let's get you an oracle, and then we're going, <laughs> we're going to skedaddle. I done held y'all long enough. Um, what are we doing here? All right, I'm going to get you guys the angels, gods, and goddesses card. I don't know why I feel like that should... Um, that should be pulled. Let's see. And for those of y'all that are thinking about investing in um, a business or, you know, property, land, um, over here with this, this tower is where I felt that energy. Um, make sure, make sure they're being honest. Make sure they're being honest about this freaking uh, property. This land, okay? Cause I don't know, it's something about these wetlands. I'm, I'm, I was getting that. Now, now I understand. You know that it's <laughs> shit ain't gotta make sense to me, as long as it makes sense to y'all, okay? Cause that's definitely a message for someone. All right, but let's see. So, a card slipped out while I was shuffling. Let's see, we have Angel of Union. It says, oh, wow, look at this. A partnership is blessed and destined for greatness. What did I say? Okay, we showed, we seen that Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Then we seen the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. We got the Ten of Pentacles over here. I'm telling you, I am telling you, some of y'all are coming into union 
okay? Whoever these individuals are, you guys are meant to be with for some of you, okay? You are definitely meant. There's somebody coming in. This is a destined partnership, a destined uh, uh, destined for greatness. A, it's going to be a blessed union. It's going to be a blessed union. And then we have Angel of Emergence. It says, it is time for the real you to emerge. Yes, because these motherfuckers is trying to stifle you. What did I say? Knowing your worth and your value. Somebody may be trying to block you from being you, you know? And that's why it's so necessary and important for you to get that confidence and that courage together. I'm telling you now. I'm telling you now. Because being your true authentic self, look, nobody can be you but you. Doom, doom. Nobody can be you but you. Then we have Goddess of Beauty. It says, you are a wondrous being of light. There is nothing to change or fix. Wow. And I feel like that goes for whoever these individuals are that are trying to control you. They may be telling you, oh, you need to do this. You need to do that. Only thing you need to do is continue to love yourself, continue to know your worth and your value, continue to stay grounded, meditate and pray, give yourself the love that you want to receive. That's what you need to do. But don't let anybody be out here telling you, you need to change this, you need to fix that, 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 that. No, they need to look in the motherfucking mirror, okay? Period, period, okay? Bottom of the deck, we have Angel of Space Clearing. It says, it is time to clear old negative thoughts and feelings. Yup, period. For some of you, it's with these individuals, okay? They may be putting you in a negative space and place, you know, in your thoughts, in your heart, you know, and the universe is wanting you to clear that. Some of you are definitely going to have to create those boundaries, you know, and then you're going to have to meditate and pray, you know, and some of you, you may uh, want to start, you know, cleansing and clearing out your home, you know, uh, taking that spiritual bath, taking a walk in nature, you know, hugging the damn tree, sitting by some water, you know, uh, using uh, Palo Santo or sage, you know, to cleanse, you know, your home. Open up those windows. Let that old ass, stale ass, punk ass, bitch, at, no. let that energy out and go. You know what I'm saying? So some of you are definitely needing to clear your, um, your space because some of you, you know, you may be feeling foggy or your vision, you know, blurry or just feeling cloudy you know what i mean and it's because it's time to clear out those um old negative thoughts and feelings and for some of you that's them you know they're needing to cleanse and clear that out and once they start thinking more clearly they'll start making better decisions period okay so this is what i have for you my loves i know i, <laughs> I drug it okay <laughs> i drug it but th these messages needed to come out all right. So continue to keep your vision tunnel, continue to, um, you know, be your own first priority, continue to, to, you know, move forward and take control of your own narrative. OK, pick up a pen, cop a squat and take note. OK, period. And just know that y'all got this because God got you. All right, my loves. So continue to uh, keep your vision tunnel, continue to remain your lovely, but most of all, be well and a holler.